In this video, we will review, some facts about Earth-Sun relationships, like revolution, rotation, axial tilt, perihelion, aphelion, circle of illumination, plane of elliptic, parallelism, Milankovitch cycles, eccentricities, obliquity and precession. Earth-Sun relationships are important, as they help us to understand, the characteristics of climate on Earth. They are in charge, for daily and seasonal cycles of energy and temperature. Let us review, the process of revolution of Earth around the Sun. The Earth complete one orbit around the Sun, in about 365 days. Earth's orbit around the Sun is not circular but elliptical. And, Sun is not in the center of the Earth's elliptical path. The average distance from Earth to the Sun, throughout the year is 149.67 million kilometers or 92.96 million miles. Considering speed of light, it takes approximately 8.3 minutes for Sun's rays to reach Earth's atmosphere. As discussed earlier, the Earth-Sun distance is not same throughout the year. On and around January 3rd, it is approximately 147.09 million kilometers, which is termed as perihelion, or when Sun and Earth are nearest. And, on July 4th, the distance is maximum, which is about 151.92 million kilometers, termed as aphelion, or when Sun and Earth are the farthest. Rotation is the spin of the Earth on its axis. The direction of rotation is from west to east, or counterclockwise, when viewed from above the North Pole. Exactly one half of Earth is illuminated by Sun, at any given time. The circle of illumination is the line, which separates the illuminated and dark halves of Earth. It is constantly changing in position across Earth's surface. One complete rotation of the Earth is completed in every 24 hours. It means, that in one hour, 15 degrees of longitude is covered. This is also the basis for dividing the Earth into time zones. Time zones are 24 longitudinally based regions across the Earth's surface. They are approximately 15 degrees of longitude in width. So, every hour, one time zone is receiving the direct rays of Sun, and some are on the edge of the illuminated part of Earth, while some are in darkness. Now, let us review, Earth's axial tilt and concept of parallelism. The Earth's axis is not vertically straight but tilted. In fact, all the planets of our solar system, except a few, have tilted axis. The Earth's axis of rotation, passes through both poles and has a tilt angle of 23.5 degrees. This tilt is calculated from the perpendicular line through the plane of the ecliptic. The plane of the ecliptic is the imaginary horizontal plane, on which Earth revolves around the Sun. Now, if a perpendicular line is drawn through Earth, and the plane of the ecliptic, the axis of rotation, lies 23.5 degrees from the perpendicular line, and the plane of the ecliptic. Likewise, the equator is also tilted 23.5 degrees from the plane of the ecliptic. This 23.5 degrees axial tilt is almost fixed. No matter, where Earth is positioned in its revolution around the Sun, the axis points in the same direction and remains at the same angle. This principle is known as parallelism. The Earth's axis of rotation has a reference point in space, which is Polaris, or the North Star. The North Pole of the Earth always points towards the Polaris. In old times, this knowledge was used by sailors for navigation purposes. However, Scientists have observed some irregularities, in Earth's axial tilt and orientation over geological times. The axial anomalies in the eccentricity, obliquity, and precession are known as Milankovitch cycles. Let us see what are these anomalies. First is eccentricity. In simple terms, eccentricity is the shape of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. As seen earlier, Earth's orbit is mostly elliptical. But, over a cycle of 100,000 years, 
it was observed that the orbit has fluctuated from elliptical to circular. Second anomaly is in the obliquity of Earth's axial tilt. Scientists have observed fluctuations in the degree of Earth's axial tilt. The axial tilt has oscillated from 21.5 to 24.5 degrees, over a cycle of 41,000 years. Third anomaly is in the precession of the Earth's tilt. Earth's axial tilt has a tendency to wobble, somewhat similar to a shaking spinning top. It happens over a period of 26,000 years. Normally, the Earth's axis points at the Polaris or North Star. But during the precession period, the axis points to the Vegas Star. Serbian scientist, Milutin Milankovic, calculated the magnitude of changes in eccentricity, obliquity, and precession of Earth's axis. He established that, together, the variations in these three cycles, changes the amount solar radiation reaching the Earth's surface. Over time, these increased or decreased solar radiation, has relation with the Earth's changing climate system.